You see, in life we pick a philosophy of marvelousness or not. In life, when we're entrepreneurs and small business owners, we have the right under the laws of America to pursue life, liberty, and happiness. We also have the lawful right to produce a living, to produce an income, produce business revenue in a way that makes sense to what has been a success for us in the past in terms of how we paid for our life solely and completely. But at the same time, we recognize that as we headed into this time of COVID, there was a lot of economic downturn going on, that people are being replaced by robotics all around the world and manufacturing is partially true, that we have young people grow up being raised up in various aspects of marvelous poverty that they don't really know how to live their life better or know what to do. And I find it interesting, the difference in a, in a company that a week or two can make, but I'll talk about that marvelously in another audio chat so that that industry will recognize when they've hired someone correctly and when they failed in their hiring process. Any company, I can just say in summary, that has constant attrition and constant retention difficulties has a poor manager in the house and an po even poorer training coordinator doing nothing right. You see, in America, there's easy ways to target and find the right employee. But here we have in America, a society that believes that they have the right to sexually assault someone in the middle of the night and walk away as if they're having a gay old time. And we have men in America who have failed completely to recognize the Lord Jesus Christ as a savior, not of sins, or a reckoning agent to men that never make amends, but literally as the Lord of people's lives, steering and driving through divine architecture, his plan for their life to find the right living word of his version of talking about his life, his marvelous, amazing life that here we are a good millennium later still talking about in the terms of Christ or Muhammad or even Confucius, who might have just been someone else than what we think but the reality is we have lost the magic and merriment and wonder of god because we have groups of whites and people who are black who are willing to commandeer a man's body who is not openly queer according to their quips but who have total disregard for the soul that the lord god in heaven places in a human being or a human channel to have a life experience that is of biology and not heaven's gates of reality. The most fascinating part of this constant battle between this idea of month of June is going to be the celebration of people's sexuality that are sort of in what most people believe is alternative lifestyles and the paltry attack on people's biology that a letter T shoves in front of people's faces for those people who don't pass well and don't play well and are not mature enough to do the full Harry Benjamin processes is that the reality of life is that what goes home to heaven, motherfuckers? Does a human body that is 400 pounds overweight and grossly disgusted to most people, even to that child who's suffering in that weight, or that 900 pound gentleman who's going off to get special emotional uh, rearing and emotional teaching before he's allowed to get gastro, whatever, bypass, I don't know what's called, surgery, is that body going to ascend up to heaven with the house of the Lord? So I'm just asking you, motherfuckers, why are you making such a big deal about sexuality that is something that the house of God considers to be of utmost intimacy and privacy? And I'm just asking very scientifically in the concept of the history of religion of all the world and all the different versions and all the different titles that really talk about a love of Christ and what he allegedly and did do for most people in terms of dying for their sins. But it doesn't get you out of the sin of your lies, your thieving, and your cheating, despite the fact that you understand 316ing. But what I'm asking you, you motherfuckers, writers of the Christian right, is what ascends to the heavens, Lord's gates and house. What may stand in front of God? Is the human body going to ascend up in front of everyone at a funeral and head to heaven? 
Or have you foolishly insulted the Lord in this way of saying, He doesn't know what He has made in America today. And that some human being or some satanic form has taken hold of someone's body. And someone paltry couldn't have possibly been enduring a physical assault, a sexual abuse that might release estrogen into a body to change, well, a gander into a goose. But let me tell you, motherfuckers, how insulted the Lord is, is that he's cleaning house across the world with this illness. And maybe he did it because one of his begotten sons actually said, okay, Lord, I'm going to submit everything to you, even down to when I choose to defecate. And maybe he said, finally, I've got one who recognizes me fully. And finally, I've got one who knows how to passionately love the woman that I planned for him. But here's the foolishness of men. They decided to infiltrate. They decided to abuse the mind. They decided to infiltrate with this concept of robot, robot humanoids. They decided to focus their lives on porn and on sexual inappropriateness and on improper behavior among siblings who think they have the right to govern someone's adult body when they are already betrothed, already married, already have children, have other responsibilities in this world, and they walk around in the community saying, I've known him my whole life. Bullshit. When did you spend time with that individual? Outside of holidays and Christmas and occasionally some sort of special birthday, when the motherfuck were you involved in that person's life? When the motherfuck did you call on a daily or regular basis? And where the fuck do you get off saying that my body and the vessel that I offered to the human race isn't within my control? But more importantly, where the fuck do you, do you human Christians and you allegedly important Muslims get off telling me what soul I placed in that vessel? You see, what we learn in all the religions of around the fucking world, you motherfucking police officers and you bastardized mental healthists, and you religious right doctors who abuse our rights every single day in the communities the way that you play, that Jesus Christ put the soul into a being. And the soul is what ascends back to heaven. There are thousands of verses across every culture that say that. And yet you don't protect your temple to the Lord. And you don't allow people like me and others to fix the problems that society and physical assault and abuse caused in a womb and destroyed in God's plan for his life to be flourishing across the American continent, around the world, and in every land. You have produced a society that sexually traffics, that solicits and improperly abuses a total stranger without their actual right which is normally something that happens in some sort of race or rape or some sort of a assault situation, for that person to try to either fight back or say, no, you may not do this to me. And the man who literally stomped on the back of my head is still walking for free in our society because the police of today were derelict in their duties just as they were totally improper and derelict in Jesus' time. And it was those men that assaulted Jesus, those men that abused his body, and those men in the Catholic community who can never make up for their history.